Were there many re religious activities that the, that you did as a family? Religious, uh, we were we were very religious. Every holiday, every Saturday, Friday night, we we were always uh, uh, very religious. We, the Saturday or uh, holidays, we never worked. Uh, did something. We were just going to the synagogue and come home, and we were in the house. And your father was very religious too? Yes, very religious. My mother was extremely religious. The, you know, we know the, every holiday was nice. Which holidays do you remember most? Most uh, Passover, uh -huh. remember, because we had new shoes and new clothes, and uh, this what was the most memorable uh, uh, holiday for me. And we in the baker we baked Nazis, the then the whole family helped. The rabbi from Chabinia, he uh, was in the, uh, baked the Nazis for the pan. And it was very nice. This is the main holiday what I remember. It's Passover. Passover, yeah. That was the, the, main, the main thing for the week, uh, because we used to sit down, we come from the synagogue, and um, Mother used to have a dinner ready, and uh, we used to talk and sing after after the meal, and that was a sort of a tradition, and uh, it was quite enjoyable. And uh, what kinds of songs did you sing? We used to sing uh, religious songs, uh, you know, hymns, sort of, uh, you know, from the synagogue. Can you remember any of them? Well, uh, I do remember some of them, uh, you know. Uh, Could you perhaps uh, sing an example of one? Well, I can sing a, a song for you, I suppose. Yeah. Noi udom udom, oi soifa my udom, noi udom be soifo. My for yes, I for my for do. No, ye den men, they are kim to tahin No, udom udom, yes, I for my for, or you dom, yes, I for. My you for, yes, I for, my you for, do. That was uh, sort of many years ago, when I was uh, 12 years old or 10 years old. So it's very, very hard to remember all this. My most favorite Jewish holiday was Passover. Why? Passover, because it was seven days, the other dishes what he had on Passover, the other food what we had on Passover, and we cleaned the house, we took everything on the backyard, and we were jumping on the mattresses outside, it was fun for us. And uh, my father was like, half laying on the bed, because this was a castle not to sit, had a big pillow, and I was near him. And I always looked on the becher uh, for Eliyahu Hanabi, if the wine disappeared, I was, not putting my, away, my eyes away from the better. And my uh, father had his stepmother. She used to come to us also. If, if we had a, the big rabbi, a big rabbi in our town. So all the time the Hasidic came. And we had to, even if they had a very small place, now everybody had to take somebody to sleep over. and give him to eat and this because they came to this big rabbi. Do you remember his name? Uh, they, they called it the Bobbeva rabbi. You know, he was very big, very big. I remember in the, when it was a religious holiday, there was some restaurant that was riding on horses and there was unbelievable what was going on in this small town. This I remember uh, good. Uh, my brother used to go to the Chebina rabbi for lessons. 
Czechina rabbi's name was Berish Weidenfeld. After the war, he was in Jerusalem, in Rehavia, and he became a gaon, very famous, and there is a Czechina yeshiva in Jerusalem. 